Ever wondered why a pig of all things is the namesake of one of the most fearsome aircraft in the US military's arsenal? Well, buckle up, because you're in for a wild ride. Enter the A-10 Warthog, a name that might sound more at home in a barnyard than a battlefield. Yet this rugged, unattractive beast is one of the most resilient machines in modern warfare. The Warthog, much like the humble pig it's named after, is not about winning beauty contests. It's all about being tough, hardy, and getting the job done no matter how dirty it gets. A-10 Warthog, the brainchild of Fairchild Republic, is a close air support aircraft. Its mission? To provide friendly ground forces with a rapid response, air-to-surface firepower. And let me tell you, when it comes to firepower, the Warthog is not messing around. But why a Warthog, you ask? Well, during its development in the early 70s, the engineers knew they were creating something tough, something that could withstand heavy damage and still keep flying. As they observed its stocky build, the unappealing aesthetics and the raw power it held, they couldn't help but compare it to the robust, resilient, and not-so-pretty Warthog. And so, the A-10 Warthog was born. This aircraft is a testament to the saying, don't judge a book by its cover. It may not be sleek or pretty, but it's a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. Its durability and firepower have earned it a reputation as a seemingly indestructible force. It's taken hits that would send other aircraft spiraling to the ground, yet it keeps on flying, keeps on fighting. The A-10 Warthog, much like its namesake, is a survivor. It's faced many threats, both on the battlefield and in budget meetings. Yet it continues to serve, continues to prove that it's not just the prettiest birds that rule the skies. So, if you ever thought pigs can't fly, think again. The A-10 Warthog not only flies but also packs a punch that can send enemies running for the hills. Now that we've got your attention with our flying pig, let's dive into the history of this airborne behemoth. The A-10 Warthog, or as it's officially known, the A-10 Thunderbolt II, was born out of necessity during the height of the Cold War. The United States Air Force needed a reliable, rugged aircraft that could take a beating and still dish out some serious damage. Enter the Warthog. This beast of a machine designed in the early 70s was built around a single, defining feature. The GAU-8 Avenger Rotary Cannon. This isn't your average pea shooter, folks. The Avenger is a seven-barreled Gatling-style autocannon that's capable of firing 4,200 rounds per minute. Now that's a whole lot of freedom delivered in a very short amount of time. The A-10 was designed from the ground up to be a close air support aircraft. Its sole purpose? To assist ground forces by decimating enemy armored vehicles and fortifications. And boy, did it excel in this role. The A-10's sturdy, resilient design allowed it to withstand substantial damage and continue its mission. This made it an invaluable asset during various conflicts, including the Gulf War and the war in Afghanistan. Throughout its service, the A-10 has been at the heart of many heroic tales. Its pilots, braving enemy fire, delivered precise, devastating firepower to change the tide of many battles. This flying tank, with its ferocious look and even more ferocious firepower, earned the respect and admiration of both its allies and adversaries. But the A-10 is more than just a war machine. It's a symbol of resilience, a testament to the human spirit's ingenuity in the face of adversity. Its unique design philosophy, revolving around the Avenger cannon, has proven to be both effective and enduring, securing the A-10's place in military history. Just as every superhero has an origin story, so does our beloved Warthog, and trust me, it's a tale worth telling. If you've ever wondered what makes the Warthog tick, you're about to find out. The A-10 Warthog, a name that conjures up images of a rugged, tenacious beast, is no less than a technological marvel designed with a singular purpose, to survive and to decimate. To understand its true potential, we need to delve into its anatomy, a unique blend of armor, engines, weapon systems, and an enormous gun named the GAU-8 Avenger. Let's start with the armor. The Warthog's pilot is ensconced in a titanium bathtub, a shell so robust it can withstand direct hits from armor-piercing rounds and high-explosive projectiles. This isn't just a safety feature, it's a fortress that keeps the pilot safe, even when the going gets tough. The Warthog's twin engines nestled high on the fuselage not only keep the aircraft's center of gravity stable, but also offer survivability. How, you may ask? By being placed far away from the ground fire. These high-mounted engines are also less susceptible to ingesting debris, 
reducing the risk of engine damage during low altitude strafing runs. But what's a Warthog without its weapons? The A-10's weapon systems are as diverse as they are deadly. It's equipped with AGM-65 Maverick missiles, laser-guided bombs, and unguided rockets. It can carry a payload of up to 16,000 pounds, that's the weight of two full-grown African elephants. But the crown jewel, the piece de resistance of the A-10, is its GAU-8 Avenger. This seven-barrel cannon, the largest gun ever fitted to an aircraft, is capable of firing 30mm rounds at a rate of nearly 4,000 rounds per minute. It's not just a gun, it's a statement of power, a testament to the Warthog's destructive capability. Each feature of the A-10 Warthog from its armor to its weapon systems is meticulously designed to contribute to the aircraft's survivability and lethality. It's built not just to withstand enemy fire, but to strike back with a force that's overwhelming and relentless. The Warthog is a symbol of resilience, a testament to human ingenuity and determination. It embodies the spirit of survival against all odds, of emerging victorious in the face of adversity. It's not just an aircraft, it's a symbol of unyielding strength, of indomitable will, of the sheer power of human innovation. So the next time someone calls you a Warthog, take it as a compliment. It means you're tough, resilient, and you pack a serious punch. The A-10 Warthog isn't just a marvel of engineering, it's a proven warrior on the battlefield. And what a warrior it is. This aircraft has seen more action than a summer blockbuster, and it has the battle scars to prove it. From the scorching deserts of the Middle East, to the icy landscapes of Eastern Europe, the Warthog has left its mark. And it's not just about showing up, it's about making an impact. Let's take a stroll down memory lane. Picture the late 70s, a world gripped by the Cold War. The A-10 was designed to counter the massive tank armies of the Soviet Union. And while thankfully, it never had to prove its mettle in that particular conflict, it didn't have to wait long for its baptism of fire. Fast forward to the 90s and the Warthog is in the thick of it during Operation Desert Storm. Here, it showcased its ground attack prowess, decimating enemy tanks and artillery earning the nickname Tank Buster. Their ability to loiter over the battlefield combined with their precision weaponry made them a nightmare for any ground force facing them. In the new millennium, the Warthog continued to prove its worth. From the mountains of Afghanistan to the hostile urban environments of Iraq, the A-10 was there, providing close air support to our troops on the ground. It was in these unforgiving terrains that the Warthog's uncanny ability to absorb damage and keep flying truly shone. Stories of A-10S returning to base riddled with bullet holes, missing pieces and even with an engine out, became the stuff of legend. But it's not just about being tough, it's about being effective. And the Warthog is just that. Its GAU-8 Avenger, a 7-barrel Gatling-style autocannon, is the most powerful gun ever mounted on a combat aircraft. This, coupled with a fearsome array of missiles and bombs, makes the A-10 a force to be reckoned with. The Warthog's reputation is not just built on its combat prowess, but also on its relationship with the troops it supports. Ground forces often speak of the psychological boost they get when they hear the distinctive BURT of the A-10's cannon overhead. It's a sound that signifies help is here, and it's a sound that the enemy dreads. So, there you have it. From its early days as a Cold War deterrent to its current role as a vital cog in our military machine, the A-10 Warthog has proven time and time again that it's not just about how much punishment you can take, it's about how much you can dish out as well. In the world of military aviation, the A-10 Warthog is a testament to the saying, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Despite numerous attempts to retire the A-10 Warthog, it keeps coming back. Why you ask? Well, let's find out. The A-10 Warthog, or the Hog, as it's affectionately known, isn't just any military aircraft, it's a flying tank, a symbol of resilience, and the embodiment of close air support. But what makes it so irreplaceable? Why does it keep coming back? One of the answers lies in its unmatched close air support capabilities. The Warthog is a low and slow flyer, able to get up close and personal with its targets. It's designed to take hits and keep on flying, a feat that not many aircraft can claim. The Hog's GAU-8 Avenger Cannon, a seven-barrel Gatling-style autocannon, is the stuff of legends. It can unleash a storm of 30mm rounds onto enemy armor, making it the nightmare of any armored column. But it's not just about firepower. The A-10's cost-effectiveness is another reason behind its longevity. With a relatively low operational cost, the Warthog provides a lot of bang for the buck. 
It's a cost-effective solution for the kind of dirty, dangerous and demanding missions that other aircraft might not be suited for. And then, there's the love. Ask any ground troop who's been under fire and they'll tell you how much they appreciate the sound of the A-10's engines. They can't save the day, can't, baby. <laughs> There's a sense of relief, a feeling of safety when the warthog is in the sky. It's earned a special place in the hearts of those it's protected. And that's not something you can simply replace with a newer model. The A-10 Warthog has proven time and time again that it's not just about the latest tech or the shiniest gadgets. It's about reliability, resilience, and a unique capability to support ground forces like no other aircraft can. It's a testament to the adage, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So there you have it. The A-10 Warthog isn't just a survivor, it's a fighter that refuses to bow out. Well, we've talked a lot about our flying pig today. Let's do a quick recap, shall we? We kicked off our deep dive into the A-10 Warthog with a look at its creation. Born out of necessity during the Cold War, this rugged machine was designed to be more than just a plane. It was to be a tank buster, a close air support powerhouse, and a survivalist's dream. The Warthog was specifically crafted to withstand heavy fire, keep flying, and bring its pilot home safely. It was the birth of a beast, a testament to human ingenuity and the power of necessity. We then delved into the anatomy of this remarkable aircraft. The A-10 isn't just any plane, it's a flying tank, equipped with a powerful GAU-8 Avenger Gatling-style cannon, a weapon so potent that the plane was designed around it. This aircraft is a fortress in the sky, armored to withstand significant damage, and kitted out with redundant systems to keep it flying even when things get tough. And let's not forget the hog's straight wings which allow it to fly low and slow, the perfect combination for its ground attack role. Moving on, we discuss the Warthog in action, and boy, has it seen action. From the deserts of the Middle East to the mountains of Afghanistan, the A-10 has proven its mettle time and again. It's earned a reputation as a fearsome foe, capable of delivering devastating firepower and withstanding intense enemy fire. Its combat record is a testament to its effectiveness, with countless missions flown and an untold number of lives saved. Finally, we explored why the A-10 Warthog is here to stay. Despite attempts to retire this stalwart aircraft, the Warthog continues to prove its worth. Its unique capabilities combined with its impressive resilience and the sheer affection felt for it by those who fly and maintain it have ensured its continued service. The Warthog is a symbol of resilience and tenacity, a plane that refuses to be grounded. So, what have we learned about our flying pig? The A-10 Warthog is an aircraft like no other. It's a beast, a fortress, a savior in the sky. It's an engineering marvel, a testament to the power of design, resilience, and a good old-fashioned stubborn streak. And there you have it folks, the pig that flies, fights, and refuses to die. The A-10 Warthog, a testament to the power of resilience, ingenuity, and of course a good sense of humor. 